God, that was weak. I said, how you doing out there, Atlanta? <laughs> All right, much better. Listen, we are called for today. It is an honor and a privilege to be here with you guys today. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out, taking time out of your day to spend it with us. How many of you are having a great time at Warp Tour 2012 today? Good, good, good. Listen, I know that every single one of us can agree it's an honor for us to be here, for real. You know, I, th I think almost everybody in our band came to Warp Tour when we were in high school, and it's it's such a crazy dream come true for us to be standing on this stage and sharing this with you guys. So thank you so much for being here and sharing this with us. You guys are incredible. So let me ask, how many of you have ever heard of Four Today before? Good, then, uh, well, if you just raised your hand, and maybe even if you didn't just raise your hand, it's probably no secret that Four Today is a Christian band. And, uh, yeah, I get told every day People come up to me and say, man, I just, I admire what you do. You know, you stand up there and you don't care what anybody thinks. And you're not afraid of the consequences. It must take courage to stand up there and speak your mind and tell people what you believe in your heart. And, uh, you know, that's, that's been something that, that over the years has kind of come to really make me cringe. Because the reality of the matter is that it doesn't take courage for me to stand on stage and preach Jesus. Really, it would take courage for me to stand up here and waste your time with worthless garbage like shirts or CDs. Really, I stand up here not because I'm brave, not because I, I, I deserve some sort of admiration. I stand up here because I stand up here because I'm absolutely terrified of what might happen if I did it. This, this probably doesn't come as a surprise, but we're the only band on this entire tour that preaches Jesus. And there are kids in this crowd that will kill themselves someday if they don't find hope. There are kids in this crowd that are going to wind up dead or in jail because of some drug addiction if they don't find hope. There are kids in this crowd that are going to live the rest of their lives thinking that maybe if, maybe if they can have sex with more people or more beautiful people, maybe then they'll feel satisfied. And they're going to live the rest of their lives broken and hopeless because nobody ever gave them an answer. So let me stand here once and for all definitively and tell you there was an answer in Jesus Christ. If you really believe it's, it's heaven or hell, it doesn't take courage to preach Jesus to someone. It doesn't take bravery to tell them what, what, what he achieved on the cross. It's the most merciful thing you can do. It's the most compassionate thing you can do. And it's the only logical thing you can do. So I stand up here and tell you, let there be no gray area. You either belong fully to Jesus or you belong fully to this world. And when this world burns, if you haven't divorced yourself from it, you'll burn with it. <laughs> That's a very popular message, right? So listen, maybe it does take a little bit of courage to stand up on this stage and preach an unpopular gospel. But can I tell you that when my Jesus hung with his hands and his feet nailed to that cross and that crown of thorns beaten into his head and he had me on his mind I think the least I can do is to stand here today and give him yeah. glory yeah. so listen Atlanta I'm not looking for people that are in this for comfort I'm looking for people that are in this thing to change the world are you with me? 